guy is me, attempting to climb one of Colorado's tallest peaks in Master Chief armor. And if you're thinking, wow, Brad, that's a really stupid idea, then you'd be absolutely right. This behemoth of a mountain towers at 14,158 feet above sea level. And in this video, I will be pushing myself to the absolute limit to see if I can climb this bad boy to the top in full Master Chief armor with zero experience. Whose idea was this again? So just to be very clear, I'm not a hiker. Climbing a 14,000 peak in full armor, probably not the smartest idea, but we're sending it in the name of YouTube. But first things first, I need armor. And it just so happens that in this bathroom, the one and only Master Chief taking a shower. With a high level of confidence, I hopped on a flight to Salt Lake City to meet my friend Daniel. <laughs> Daniel is a mountain expert and he regularly does crazy stuff like this. Oh my God. While I'm on this mountain, Daniel is gonna make sure I don't die. Daniel, on a scale from one to 10, how confident are you in that we're gonna summit? Well, I will. I will summit without you. <laughs> what happened to no man left behind, Daniel? I don't think you're gonna make it. Thank you. Uh, good luck. I think the odds are pretty slim. The air is a lot thinner and your body's gonna react to that. And you're doing it in your Master Chief costume. Armor. No, it's a costume. No, it's our no. <laughs> With my pride thoroughly damaged, we packed our gear and set out for Colorado the very next morning. Lord help us, we're gonna need it. So you're probably asking, Brad, why the heck are you even doing this? <laughs> this sounds like a really stupid idea. Well, first, that's because it's what Chief would do, and second, because I'm petty. Backstory. This is my best friend, Ryan, but right now I'm mad at him because he is on his dream three-week vacation to the United Kingdom, and he didn't even invite me. Sucks to be you. Since Ryan did something awesome without me, I am now doing something awesome without him. And to rub it in you, even further, I printed off a picture of his stupid thing to bring to the top of the mountain to show him what he's missing. Take that, Ryan. Are you sure you still miss him? Yeah, maybe that's actually... Ryan, I miss you! Okay! At this point in the trip, my confidence was at an all-time high, but then the mountain finally came into view. Oh, no. That's it right there. Is that snow? Oh, no. It's high. Dude, my confidence was so high a couple minutes ago. I'm just a guy from Oklahoma, dude. What am I doing here? <laughs> Why am I doing this? This is Mount Sneffels, towering at 14,158 feet above sea level. Needless to say, I was absolutely terrified. This is the mountain. We're climbing that tomorrow. Oh, look how big that thing is. It just towers over everything else around it. I can't believe I'm doing this, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. You're making me nervous <laughs> about this climb now. I'm pulling you up there whether you like it or not. Yeah, that's what I want to hear, Daniel. It's really kind of hitting me now how crazy of an idea this was. I don't think I've been this intimidated by anything ever before. I mean, I do think you're gonna run into one issue, and it's altitude sickness. And the higher you go in elevation, the less oxygen. That's gonna lead to headache, nausea, vomiting. Is there anything positive you want to say? No. Okay. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is mountain climbing day. I'm feeling actually pretty good. But guys, projects like these are not even remotely possible without the help of our amazing sponsors. So while I suit up, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch is changing personal care with high performance natural products that smell amazing and will have you feeling and looking your best. I'm talking about the best soap you'll ever use in your life. Dr. Squatch's products are made only using finest ingredients that mother nature can't provide. In fact, all their products are at least 98% natural in origin. They never use any harsh chemicals or harmful ingredients and all of their scents are natural naturally derived. Dr. Squatch is a whole natural lineup of products for your routine. They have soaps, hair care, deodorant, and more. Cut to Brad in the shower a week ago. My favorite scent is the pine tar because it makes me think of how scared I'm going to be while climbing a freaking mountain in Master Chief armor. But let's face it, the soap you probably have in your shower right now is absolute crap. But not anymore. Spice up your style and get clean with Dr. Squatch today. Back to mountain climbing Brad. So guys, check out Dr. Squatch, link in my description. If you use my offer code DSQ Impact Props, you can get 20% off all orders, $20 and more. Thank you so much, Dr. Squatch, for sponsoring this video and helping me get to this magical place. I'm about to climb this freaking mountain. That's probably the most insane sentence I've ever said out loud. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I mean, what else is there left to do? The challenge here is going to be climbing a bunch of steep sections with a lot of loose rocks. But the hardest part of the whole climb is something called the V-notch. But we'll address that when we get there. Good protection. <laughs> That's right. I've got my armor on. Daniel. Daniel, you ready? We're ready. <laughs> Let's freaking do this, man. I can surprisingly see a little more than I was expecting with this helmet on, man. As of right now, we're not fogging. It still might have problems when I get up to the more sketchy parts, but 
The very first part of the climb was a long flat stretch of trail that slowly became less and less apparent. I would encourage you honestly to just take the helmet off every now and then just so you don't fall. Oh my gosh, guys, we're freaking doing this. This trail led us to our first real challenge of the climb. So now we're getting to the point where there's a lot of loose dirt and we want to veer off to the side so we can stay on the big rocks for road flooding. How are you doing? Oh, that's great. That's, that's wonderful. You're making me look like a wimp. That's right. Even though the coolest seven-year-old was also climbing this mountain, that wasn't enough to discourage me. But as I kept climbing, the terrain got progressively worse and worse. Holy. I knew it was going to be a little slick, but it's like, it's really slick. Slow and steady. And just before we reached the ridge, I started getting a little wobbly. Oh, oh. careful. All right. Started getting a little dizzy there. I was pretty cocky at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> this is getting legit. I go like 10 steps and I'm like, ooh. As much as it pained me to say it, I needed a little motivation. But thankfully, Daniel had just the thing. Did Ryan! Ryan, I forgot about you, buddy. I'm gonna strap this to the back of my backpack so Ryan is all you see. Ryan, motivating me up this mountain from afar. That will be ample motivation to climb this mountain, buddy. And just like that, we're off again at a much faster pace. Friggin' Ryan, hurting my... Feelings. Ryan! <laughs> Whew. Slow down, Daniel. Admittedly, pushing myself this hard was probably not the smartest idea, but it really worked. And after two hours of climbing, we finally crested the ridge to reveal one of the coolest views I've ever seen. But there's no time to celebrate. We're only halfway up. The sketchiest part of the climb is still ahead. So now we're about to do this gully, and it's a little bit steeper, a little bit higher consequence. And at the very top of this gully is the dreaded V-notch. As we've been passing people, people have been talking about the notch. It's pretty tight. I don't know if you're going to make it through. I think we're getting that summit. Is that challenge I mean, accepted? In order to prove them wrong, we first have to conquer this gully. Huh, I, got, I got a little headache uh, to report. Uh, I can really feel the altitude. I really can. Oh, look at this view. Oh my God. Dude, yesterday I was 50-50, I was gonna get up here. We're almost there. Everything was going well, but then I received a little reminder of how dangerous this whole thing really is. Now get your heartbeat going. Whew, thank God I was able to catch that rock. Sure, I almost slipped here, but if this rock would have rolled past me, it would have most certainly fell down to the people below. <laughs> At this point, I finally realized the actual amount of danger that I was in. Each one of these rocks is a disaster waiting to happen. With a newfound respect to this mountain, I carefully climbed up the last few hundred feet of the gully. Have I mentioned I've never climbed a mountain before? And speaking of ignorance, we finally reached the hardest part of the entire climb, the V-notch. There's one giant step that you have to make that if you slip, you legit fall to your death. I mean, look at this drop. Guys, that's not a fall I want to take. But thankfully, I made a new friend on the mountain named Sebastian, and he was going to walk me through it. Okay, Sebastian, how we doing this? I get your foot, like, right in there. Okay. Okay, yep. okay that's not going to work. The hardest and scariest part was placing the first step. It might be easier for you to go right foot. Dude, this first step is so sketchy. But once I got my foot in the right place, I went for it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. The best. Bring it in, brother. Hardest part of this mountain. Check. Let's summit this thing, guys. Let's fucking summit this thing. I was less than 100 feet away from reaching the summit of Mount Snuffles in full Master Chief armor. Oh my god, man. We've survived the hardest parts of this mountain, so all that's left for me to do is climb. <laughs> From the very top of Mount Snuffles, thank you all for watching. Holy crap, man. This is such a surreal feeling. Ryan, we did it. Nah. <laughs> Dude, I'm so proud of you. I can't believe you would go there without us. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and turn those bell notifications on. And also, a huge shout out to Daniel and our mountain cameraman for for really making this trip happen. I don't know why you feel so accomplished right now. We just love to go all the way down exactly what we came up. <laughs>